Hello, quick video. Just doing a job up at Market Wheaton. And what I want to show you is this house, early 1800s. Masonry paint on there, starting to pop off. This side, all been doffed off. We've got a little bit of cement mortar there in the pointing, but most of it is lime. Well, this has been off three weeks a month maybe starting to dry out already got a little bit of something there I'm not sure what that is but maybe have a look at that see if we can get some bricks and do something nice with that but what I want to show you is damp proofing as you can see Shriver system now, if you know what that is and you can tell me I'll happily listen We've also got drill holes in the brick and drill holes in the mortar. See there? Drill holes in the mortar. And we've been having a little dig down. The ground levels are well high. As you can see there, we've got a bit of lime wash. And the ground levels are too high, so that's causing a lot of the problem. And what we'll do is, I'll take you around this side. As you can see there, there's no air bricks. But around this side, we have got some. Unfortunately, they're blocked, covered up. Every time it rains, water and dirt goes straight in under that air brick on, into the subfloor. And if I take you along, another one, another one. Another one, Schreiber carries on, look, injection carries on. Right along air bricks, ground level's way too high, subfloor's getting cold, wet, and all the rest of it. So we'll just take you off inside now, show you. Snowy day. on this wall and if you can see there and I've taken a lot of it off but damp proofing maybe not see it but damp proofing goes all the way up there certainly there you can see it all wet and horrible and I'm taking this off just above just above there, behind that paint, and take that paint off, that's the line there. So we've gone up to the line level-ish. I think the line actually came down to there, but it was all rotten and rumbled. Original corner beaded. Sort of dates the place. And if you go around, you can maybe see that wet line, sort of there. Into there, what went into there, and that one's wet as well. You can see it's just soaked. I've had a had a skirting board off. That's the back of one I've done there. Look, so it's not done that skirting board any good. It's just frazzled. But here, here, we've got heaps of damp proofing's gone there. Unfortunately, we took the damp proofing, rubbish, whatever it is, all the way down to the ground and it's rotted the end of that board and it's mainly to do with high ground levels modern plaster, modern paints and lack of air bricks so I would imagine that this probably didn't need doing damp proofing it just needed the ground levels looking at. Anyway, that's all I want to say today. Thank you.